BSP George Lesenda Asari. Do hereby swear by the Bible. Do hereby swear by the Bible. That the evidence I shall give before the commission of inquiry. That the evidence I shall give to the commission of this inquiry. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Please be reminded that by the oath you have taken, you've made a promise to speak the truth. And the failure to do so constitutes an offense for which you will liable to punishment. For the purposes of the record, repeat your full name and your rank to the commission. My name is DSP George Lesanda, L Y S A N D E R Asari. DSP, do you confirm that you are the district commander of? Is it East Lebanon? Yes, my lord. Now, would you please describe to the commission what the duties of a district commander are? Uh, my lord, as a district commander of uh, East Lebanon, like all the state commanders, it is my responsibility to see to the general administration of the district. Ah. Um, if you can break it down for the commission, if you say general administration, what do you mean? My Lord, what I mean by general administration is that um, per our structures, I am the one in charge the district. And uh, the performance of duties within the district, I'm in charge. So then, will it be right for me to suggest that if an election, for instance, is being held within a constituency in your district, you will play a role as far as security is concerned. My Lord, ideally, uh, the district commander in whose jurisdiction the violation is supposed to be held should be part of the exercise. But in my case, that did not happen. And is there any reason why that did not happen? My Lord, this question can best be answered by the regional commander and the regional operational team headed by Chief Subtenant Kwesi So, if I get you right, what you are trying to tell the commission, if I'm wrong, correct me, is that until you are instructed by the regional commander, you don't play any role. Is that what you're saying? My Lord, that is not what I mean. But in this particular instance, I was of the view that oh, uh, the, the authority, the regional command, would allow the normal system to operate. But this time round, it did not happen to the extent that I complained that why is it that as a district officer uh, where a by-election is, is going to be held, I have been asked to stay aside 
said that my command car, my command car was taken away from me by the regional commander. That I should let my driver bring the pickup to Accra region. Um, yes, me. Yes, me. You have just said in your testimony that you were asked to stay aside. Now, would it be a problem if you should tell the commission who asked you to stay aside? Would you have a problem with it? No, I don't have a problem. Very well. Then, if I may ask, who are you referring to? to the original commander. So then, you are putting it on record. Now before that, when, and I mean date or day or time, did that the original commander give you day, this information? A day before, a day before the by election, we are all called to a car region, all the senior officers. And uh, I was of the view that I will be made to be part of the exercise. But when the list of the officers deployed for the exercise came out, I realized that my name wasn't in it. I complained, firstly, to Akwesi Fori, and he said I shouldn't worry. They will take care of it. It's not me alone. It, um, it's Legon and uh, Legon districts. They overlap. We were very close. So sometimes they come to our area, sometimes also go into their area. We help each other. And uh, I was thinking that even the Legon commander, if I was not made to be part, the Legon commander would be brought in. The legal commander's name was also not in the list. So I complained. So, are you saying that that is not part of your standard practice? That is not it. Because I've never seen, I've been in the service for about 23 years. I'm seeing this for the first time. What is the standard practice, if I may ask? standard practice in relation to elections being held in your district or the, the district you superintend. Yes. Your what capacity know, as a DSP. What I know is that the security task force that will be formed to take charge of the of the by election, the district commander in whose jurisdiction the exercise is taking place is made part of, of, of the task force. But in this case, I wasn't made part of the task force. And my pickup was even taken away from me, as I said earlier. Now, on the day of the election, it is alleged that certain incidents occurred within your district. Are you aware? Yes, my lord. At what point did that come to your attention? My lord, interestingly, I was going to cast my ballot at my polling station. And uh, this is the first time that uh, I voted in a by-election. So all the, all the general elections, we do special voting, and we know where to vote. We vote at Lego, in Iowa, so West we go on. But this time around, because it was by election, I was finding difficult locating my polling center. So on my way to looking for my uh, polling center, I had a call around 9 o'clock from my regional commander, who didn't make me part of the exercise that he has heard that some shootings are going on around Bawalishi, closer to the uh, the NDC parliamentary candidates have 
So I should go and uh, assist. So I quickly returned and then came and mobilized men from the station who were not part of the operation to go there. That was when it, uh, the whole thing came to my attention. Okay. So you weren't there yourself? You were just sent outside men? I, I mobilized men and then went there with them. Very well. And I even brought the situation under control. Okay. Now, did you make any arrests? No, my lord. Were any arrests made at all on the day? Yes, my lord, there were some arrests. And are you able to tell the commission who made these arrests? Uh, my lord, the arrest was made by uh, DSP Samuel Azubu together with his team from the National Security. And when the arrest was made, where did they take these men they arrested? Uh, they, they were brought to this. It was after I had gone back to the station that I realized that they have been brought there. And upon reading the station diary, there I saw my colleague's name as the one in charge, the men that effected arrest. Right. Now, I'm going to ask you a general question. What is the standard practice when one is arrested outside a station and brought to the station? What the procedure no. is followed? Yes. Uh, what happens after the arrest is that um, entry would have to be made in the station diary. And uh, the case subsequently referred for investigation. But um, in my case, when I saw the entry, I called my colleague and he told me they would come for them. So after that, I just left for. So, are you confirming before this commission that entries were made? Entries were made. And that you can submit a copy of the entries to the commission? Yes, my lord. Is it here with you? It's here with me, my lord. Very well. Wouldn't the entries ordinarily include the number of people arrested? Very well. Um, Counselor, can you get him to read the entry so that he gets into the record? Yeah. If I can uh, uh, put this on record, that the entry wasn't made by me. I came to meet it, already made, by the arresting officers. And uh, I read. That is 31st, that's Thursday, 31st January. 2019. The time is 8.56 a.m. 8.56 a.m. The 
entry was recorded by the station audio. Number 41, 279, G. Corporal, G. Public Corporal, Philip Umaji, H. O. Umaji, the G is G Z I. I read, DSP Mr. Samuel Azu of National Security in Charge Men brought in seven suspects, seven <coughs> suspects with a report that the suspects were met at the Baoleshi School Park. No, the park is bracketed, so cancelled at the Baoleshi polling station, attacked and attacked the patrol team from national security when they... It's a mistake here. And you should, you should read when they asked them to leave. But what is here is when they asked leave, leave the place. When they asked them to leave the place, there is an error here. When they ask them to leave the place, hence the arrest to the station. So according to your entry, yes, me. Yes, my lord. Seven people were arrested and brought to your station. Yes, my lord. Now, subsequently, what happened to these men arrested after they were brought to your station? My Lord, what happened was that after I had seen the suspects in custody, after reading the entry, I went to the south, brought them out, and then interrogated them one by one as to what brought them there, whether they are there to cast their ballot or they come from the constituency, or they have just come there to do their own thing. They gave me uh, various reasons as to why they came there. Some said they were brought there by Honorable Kovanda took their names, I have their names here. They were brought to the premises of the MP by Honorable Oko Van der Poy. Van der Poy brought them some food to be shared to the NDC polling agents. So that, that was the reason why they accompanied him to the place. If I'm clear. Some said, yes. Um, yes. Yes. 
according to Amidu Amadu. Amidu Amadu. Samuel Afialo. And James Moore. Moore is M O O R E. They accompanied. Vanda Poi to the place from Abelimpe. Teoflos said of also stated that they came there to provide security for their people. Tuflos Sedofu, yes, Tuflos, the rest of them, Tuflos Sedofu, uh, Mohammed Latif, Muzamil, Muzamil, Munir, If I can go over, Tiflos Sedofu, Mohammed Latif, Muzamil Munil, and Hudu Hussein. Yes, according to them, they came there to provide, provide security for their men. For, for their uh, party agents. And by party agents, were they specific? Yes, by NDC party agents. Now, ESP, were any of these arrested men in jail in any way? My Lord, I have your pictures here. Uh, I will say that only two out of these seven men I saw in my custody had minor injuries on their head. Minor. But the, those that sustained gunshot wounds were not brought to my custody. The, the seven people that were brought there, nobody sustained and short wounds. Now, if you say minor injuries, are you able to give the commission a picture? What you mean? Yes, my lord. And you have, you said you have it on? I, yes, I have uh, on your phone. On my phone. Is it possible for the commission to get um, a hard copy? My lord, I, I will do that. Uh, How soon? And we get it by close up day today, and that will be a hard ask. Uh, if I can be given time up to Monday. Very well. So, Monday, by close up day Monday, you'll finish the uh, commission with copies. Now, um, ESP. Yes, my lord. With this men with injury, what did you do with them? The the men with yes, injuries. Yes, those who are sustained injury. What did you do? Yes, normally what we do is that uh, when you arrest sus a suspected criminal to your custody, you weigh the, 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 
the seriousness of the injury if it demands immediate Just on your phone, would you be able to email them to the commission's address given the opportunity? Yes, my lord. Now, is it possible for me to have a look? I'm looking at is a man wearing a white singlet stained with black, but I can't actually see anything. So, this man, for instance, what injury did he sustain? He had a cut on the head. A lot, he had a cut. started over. How come he did not take a picture of rather the injury but then the man? My Lord, I, I took all of them. I took short of all of them. Not individually, if you can see. All of them as a group. You can see. This one, this man like this, there's nothing on him. Nothing happened to him. And uh, uh, said of fool, see, nothing happened to him. He only had a torn shirt. Very well. Yes. Let it place on record that the pictures I've just looked at do not specifically show the injuries, per se. The picture only show collection of men, some of whom are wearing shirts stained with blood. You have informed the commission that some of these men had injuries or were injured. What is the standard practice when a suspect is brought to your station and has sustained an injury? What do you do? The standard practice is that uh, we take them to the hospital under escort. And then uh, after treatment, they are brought back. Now, would you say that was done in this, in this particular instance? Yes, my lord, but not in totality. That um, they were um, escorted to the police station. But um, I went to cast my, my ballot, as I said, and on my return, that had already been done. So this one can best be answered by my District Crime Officer. Um, just a point of clarification. You said not in total. What do you mean by that? No, what, 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 what I know is that when I came, the, the, the suspects had already been released. I didn't come to meet them. That is why I don't want to say anything to them. And I, I, I went to my divisional commander together with uh, my crime officer. 
and uh, according to them, that's because of the injury some of them have sustained. Uh, they have been given medical forms to attend hospital for treatment and report. Now, did they return the medical forms? And as far as I'm concerned, I'm not sure. But you are the commander? Yes, I'm the commander. But um, after their release, the division took over the case for me. So I didn't have any control on it again. Now, you said when the men were brought to your station, you interviewed them. Yes, my lord. Just for clarification, are you by that saying you personally interviewed them? Yes, my lord. And is that is that standard practice? Yes. Are you telling the commission that the standard practice in every police station is for the station commander when suspects are brought? to interview them. Is that what you're saying? Yes, I know my practice. I'm, I must know why they are there. What brought them there? Because I didn't see the arresting officers. It's only uh, the, the in charge of the team I know. What is the job of the station officer? The station officer, in this case... No, I mean general. General. Yeah. The station officer is to supervise the men at the station and also see to day-to-day -day running of the station. What about the men at the charge office? The, yes, the men at the charge office includes those at the station. Very well. Is it not standard practice for those at the charge office to rather interview suspects brought into the station? It is their responsibility to do that. And again, I also have an ultimate responsibility to do that as a district officer. You must be on top of your job. People are in your custody. You should be able to know what brought them there. What have they done? Because this is just a peaceful election. Why should you be arrested here? What have you done? So basically, that was what I did. Just to inquire why they are there. So... Are you telling the commission that every single individual that is arrested and brought to your station, you make it your duty to interview them, and you do so in all cases? Is that what you're saying? Yes, my lord. Such Unless it doesn't come to my attention. The chairman, your witness. Thank you very much, Mr. Asari. Yes, my lord. For your testimony. Just a few questions to clarify matters. You said you were left <coughs> out of the election duty. And did you ask why? Yes, my lord. I asked, I did indicate in my sub earlier submission that um, I asked Mr. Akwesi, the Chief Subtenant Mr. Akwesi for you, the one in charge of Accra Regional Operations, as to why my name is not part of the ta task force uh, group. And he told me I shouldn't worry. He said? I shouldn't worry. You shouldn't worry. Yes. You are the district commander of a place where an election is going to take place. And a list of officers to take part in the activities is drawn up. Your name is not on it. Yes, my lord. You inquire why, uh, who drew up the list to begin with? The yeah, chief of training, Mr. Kwesifori, and the original commander. He himself. They did it in his office. They did it in whose yeah. office? Who is his? Chief Subtenant, Mr. Akwesifori. Did I drew up the list. Yes, my lord. So you asked him why your name was not on it. 
Yes, my lord. And at at said, our region, then I shouldn't worry. You shouldn't worry. Yes, my lord. And you left it at that. Yes, uh, I left it in the sense that they are in charge. And even my car, they've asked me to bring it to a car region. And in our work, you can't challenge authority. You can't challenge authority like that. But they, they are seeing it, uh, they are handling it, the whole exercise at the regional level. So you, the district officer, you don't have control. To the extent that they brought an officer to come and supervise his legal. That is DSP. Mr. Tim Flossesifi from Kolebu, Kolebu the Sopsa. You didn't tell us this. Why? On that day? On that day. Were you suspended from duty? I wasn't suspended from duty, my lord. Then who, why would anybody bring somebody else to do your work? My lord, the original commander in chief of Trinacosi for will be the best people to answer, my lord. And you did not complain? After you had been told, don't worry. No, I, I, did, I did not complain, my lord. And when you got the call from the regional commander that something had happened or was happening and that you should go and check, did you ask him where Mr. Isilfi was? My lord, I did not ask. But when I went to the scene, Mr. Isilfi was there. And what, did Mr. Isilfi report anything to you? Yes, my lord. Upon my arrival, I saw him in the middle of a group of people. And uh, the people were so much agitated um, to the extent that he was finding difficult controlling them. So I went closer to him, greeted him as a colleague. And then uh, when I asked him about what has actually happened, he narrated the same thing the regional commander told me. At your station? No, at the scene. Oh, you went to the scene? I went to the scene. That was when that was where I met the DSP that was brought there to take charge. Sorry, somebody is typing, so uh, I think so. we were going a little fast. So you went to the scene because you got the call? Yes, my lord. And when you went had been brought is he the same rank as you yes my lord which of you is a senior i'm the senior my lord and a, a subordinate officer yes my lord was brought to replace you on the job on the job and what steps did you take beyond uh, complaining to the people who had done that did you take it up with higher authority my lord, I did not do that. Is this normal that when you are the assigned officer at a station, some other officer can shove you off the job, let me put it that way bluntly, and bring somebody else and you ask questions and you are told, don't worry, and you stop worrying? My lord, uh, I want to go back a bit mm. to 2016 election. I was the district officer for Mampobi. And uh, a day before the election, a day before the election at 5 p.m., I was asked to see my regional commander as DCOP, Mr. Yusa Bonga at the Accra region. And uh, when I went there, I was told to go to police depot that they are bringing three strong officers to come and do my job for me. So it is not news to me, my lord. <laughs> I was there till the, 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 the results were declared before they asked me to come back. So when this one came, I wasn't surprised. Was it the same regional commander? No, different, different command, regional commander, my lord. Why, why would two 
successive regional commanders not have faith in you that you can do your job? My Lord, this one I cannot best tell. Um, this very one, none of the officers within the division was among the team. So I wasn't see that's relative to me alone. So the, this one and the 2016 one, um, there's some semblance, but they are not the same. After the election, did you complain to anybody higher than the people who had shoved you aside and brought other people to do your job? Because it's a, it's a vote of no confidence in you. My, my, my Lord, I wouldn't, I wouldn't admit that. Um, this is an operation planned by the region. And proud to that, uh, somebody in authority, somebody in authority, uh, I heard it somewhere, that they are doing it at the regional level. They are doing it at the regional level. So uh, we will not come in. We will not come in at all. They will do it from the regional level. So that is why I didn't complain. Okay. But now you have to answer questions. <laughs> that is the difficulty, my lord. Okay. So when you went to the station and you saw the people who had been put into custody, you said you interviewed them. Yes, my lord. Why are you here? And they said they took, gave you the answers you gave. Yes, my lord. Um, this Theophilus Sedofu and the others, they said they came to give security yes, to the party agents. Yes, my Lord. Did you ask them what qualifications they had to come and give security when they were, they were not police? My Lord, I did not uh, ask that question. You accepted that anybody could walk off the streets and come and give security at a time when the, 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 the a polling station is a security zone? My Lord, it was my intention to do all that. But because I hadn't then cast my ballot, I was so much in a hurry to go and look for my polling centre and cast my vote and then come back. And so do casting your vote was more important to you than doing policing on a, a special day when there were severe security challenges? My Lord, I would say they are all equally important. They had been they had been shooting in your area. And what whatever was happening, it meant that some there were very serious security breaches in your area. And you had met people who in custody in your police station. Yes, and you had asked them why they were there. And they said we came to give security. It didn't interest you to ask. But who are you? This is a police operation. This is a security. That police station is a security zone. What were you doing there? My Lord, I didn't want to embarrass them. <laughs> Let me put it this way. Excuse me. They, uh, sorry, sorry, my, uh, my Lord. I, I just didn't want to ask so much questions because we we'll initiate investigation. Statement to be taken from them. So I reserved that for the for investigation the investigators to do that. But the answers they gave satisfied you to continue to keep them in custody. No, my lord, they, 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 they were brought there as suspects. They were brought there as suspects. So I was of the view that we we'll take them through the normal process. We collect their statements. We take them to hospital, those that are injured, and then bring them back. And then, if possible, admit them to bail. But in this case, the national, the, the national security officer that came, DSP Azubu, made me understand that they will come for them. And because we were also made to understand that the whole exercise is being uh, handled at the regional level, we knew the people would come for them. But I called the regional commander and informed him 
about the arrest. And? And the regional commander came there. The regional commander came there. And? The end, they were released. But in your absence? In my, abs in my absence, yes. I wasn't there when it happened. I got to know of this when I came back. Officer, on a day like this, there's been shooting. There are people in custody. Some even have blood-stained uh, singlets, in your own words. And going to vote was the most important thing to you. My, my or you were annoyed that you had been left out and so you were going to let them stew in their own juice. No, 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 no my lord. I, I cannot do that, my lord. Because otherwise it's a very strange reaction. Because you'd have to file reports. There had been shooting. What if it had been an armed robbery going on at, the, at that time? You still would not have shown any interest. I, I, would, I would have done that. But my lord, I showed, it, I showed interest. I showed interest. That was why I listened to them. And uh, upon getting that information from, uh, from them, uh, an investigator was to be assigned. But because the national security said they will come for them, that was why I quickly dashed down to my polling center. I didn't even keep them. So when I came, uh, they have released them. The person who was bleeding, had he been taken to hospital already? The, the one that was... No, the bleeding has, has stopped. It wasn't a serious bleeding. It was just a blast thing here on the shirt. And yes, my lord. The person had not been given any medical attention. The, the medical attention, the, 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 the car that we even sent them is with original. So I was challenged. And the, the driver was also with them. Officer, when a suspect has bled enough to stain his clothes and the bleeding is from his head, do you think you you exercised ordinary human sympathy? Yes, my lord. By ignoring him, asking him who are you and when he said whatever. Was he the one bleeding? The one who the ones who said they came to give security? Were they the ones who had been injured? Uh, the one that was injured was the one, yes, was, was, was among the team. Who was he? Which of them? Um, from your interview. From my interview. You said two people were injured. Uh, two people. Which of them were there? As uh, Amidu Amadu. Amidu Amadu. And then... Uh, Amidu Amadu had been sent there by Honorable Kovanda Ford. Yes. To help distribute yes. food. Yes, that that was what he told me. Okay. What about those who had gone to give security? None of them was injured. Uh, two of them, but my difficulty here is that um, I don't want to make a mistake and mentioning the wrong name here. I don't want to make a mistake. And you said the injuries were minor. Yes, a, a cat. I saw a, a, a cat here. I think I cannot tell what happened. And you couldn't tell how deep it was either? No, it wasn't deep, my lord. But it had bled enough to stain his clothes. Um, the, I, I wouldn't say that the, the, the blood stain in the, in, the, in the white singlet, uh, the it came as a result of that because according to my investigation, they were all in the car, including those that sustained gunshot wounds. Oh, so the blood could be the blood of those so that's sustained and that's what I'm saying I cannot tell you. Right at the neck of the person who had the cut. Uh, my Lord, I cannot say which resorted to that. I can understand. And that's why you did not think they should be given medical attention. My Lord, medical attention, it, it was my intention to do that. 
it was my intention to do that. But um, uh, it, when I went, it did not even take uh, 10 minutes or 5 minutes before they, they were taken out of the place. They called me and I said they should go ahead. But you were not there when the inspector died in custody. It would have been in your custody. Because you are in charge of that station. My lord, the, 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 the cats I saw is not something that I can care. It's not something that I can care. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, when you started, you mentioned, you said something, and then you said Akwesifori. Who is he? My Lord, Chief of Akwesifori is the uh, operational commander for Accra region. Oh, so he's the Chief of Akwesifori. Why did you start by saying Akwesifori has leave? I thought you were referring to a press man. The first time you mentioned it, you just said Akwesifori. And later on, you said Chief of Akwesifori. Why? My Lord is a slip of tongue. And he also said that he was the one who left you out of the operation. Uh, I, my Lord, I did not say he left me. The, the whole thing was planned by the regional level, at the, at the regional level. And uh, he was part of the team. And my information is also that the list were compiled from his office. That is why I so the list was compiled. So, so you said, you went to ask, didn't you? Yes, my lord. And you said, don't worry, didn't it? Yes, my lord. Yeah, so as far as you're concerned, he left you out of the operation. If it can be taken that way. And that's why you didn't even want to mention his run. No, my lord. That was a slip of tongue. Subsequently, I mentioned his run. You said you've been a police officer for how many years? My lord, 23 years. How often do you have slip of tongue when you are mentioning <laughs> your superiors, not your, your superiors? How often? My Lord, if I can recall repeatedly, I've added his rank. Or I did you add his rank. The first one. I'm the first about, one. Yes. Uh, I can't just recall, but because. It's coming from you. That's why I'm saying it might be a slip of time. Because following that, you said you went to check up and you were told he prepared the names and he left you out. It's only in a few seconds ago that you have said that it was prepared by the regional commander. But throughout your testimony, you were given the impression that everything was done by this so called Pacifori and he left you out. That's the impression you were given it. Yes, my God. Then, Subsequently, you also told Madame that, well, you've been left out before, in 2016, isn't it? Yes, my lord. By a different general commander. Yes, my lord. So you agree with me that there could be reasons why, when election security is around, you are left out. My, my lord, I have been part of many elections, and uh, I can't use the two cases to generalize it that way. Have you checked up why in these two cases you are left out? From the regional commanders, not from the said Kwesifuri, but from the regional, did you check up from Mr. Yusa why he left you out in 2016? My lord, I did not do that. Did you check up from the current, who is the current regional commander? My lord, this UOP, Mr. Patrick, I do say something. Have you checked up from him why he instructed Kwesi Furi to leave you out. Or why Kwesi Furi by himself left you out. I'm not using the run because that's where you started. So I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm borrowing your picture. I will check that. My Lord, uh, yes, I, I asked Mr. Kwesi Furi and then he told me I shouldn't worry. No, no, I will check that from this UOP, Mr. Sapon, why you were left out. My Lord, I said no. Now you said, even though you were left out, when something happened, then the same regional commander called you, isn't it? Yes, my Lord. And said, go and see to it, isn't it? Yes, my Lord. 
We said you rather went and brought the situation under control, isn't it? Yes, my lord. But you said you met another officer there, um, DSP Mr. Uh, DSP Mr. Tuflos Esifi. Before you went there, he had not been able to control the situation. The, 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 the people were so agitated that it wasn't easy for him controlling it until I until I, I joined him. How many people did he have there before you went to? Uh, my lord, when I went there, he, the officer, and I think four other junior officers were with him. So about five? Yes, my lord. And you went there with how many? Including a driver. You went there with how many people? My lord, we went there with about five. So to add that, that would be about ten. Yes, my lord. So the numbers probably is the main reason why the situation was brought under control. The numbers of policemen, that, the additional numbers made the number up to about ten, isn't it? My, my lord, that is not so. Um, when I went there, after listening to them, I realized that um, if you don't employ um, a more tactical means of controlling the crowd, it will rather escalate tensions. So after listening to them, I realized that some people have been shot and they want arrest to be made. So everybody was talking at the same time. It will, it will be difficult. It was difficult getting all of them to listen to you. So I figured out some people I saw to be ringleaders that uh, when they listen to me, when, when I draw them closer and I talk to them, they will be able to control their people. So what I did was that identified three of them. So I called these three people to one side and Mr. Sifi was there and I addressed them. I made them understand that the issue has already happened. Those of us were not here when it happened. It is so to Sorry. Okay, thank you. We were not there when it happened. But since uh, there has been casualties or people have injured, definitely we have to be there to maintain law and order. So they should give us a, a listening year so that whatever assistance they need from us will do it after they have been able to calm down. So what I did was that the places where the people were shot, I made them take me to the place. So I, I videoed it. The blood, the blood stains on the ground, I videoed it. And uh, there was also a gunshot spots on a container opposite the parliamentary candidate's house. I videoed all and gave them assurance that the perpetrators will be arrested. So they should keep their calm or their continued uh, agitation will not make uh, the situation change. What we need from them, what I need from you is that you be quiet. Let me take short video the place. And then if you have evidence or you know the people that perpetrated the act, let me know it. Come to the station. Let me know it. And then we'll look for them. Upon hearing that, they saw that I was making sense to them, so they agreed. And they started calling their people. And they all uh, came down. And uh, minutes later, uh, some military officers came. And uh, my divisional commander and my council also came. And uh, Mr. Pesifuri and his, uh, uh, the chief subterrant, Mr. Chief subterrant, Mr. Sorry, my lord. Is it, is it also a slip? <laughs> <laughs> you just don't like to mention the man's rank. Chief Subtenant Mr. Akwesi Fori and his team also came. 
That was when policemen came there in their numbers. At that time, the tension had already de-escalated. So all these photographs that you took, you made them available to the superior? Uh, the, the, the video? Yes. yes. Yes, my lord. Okay. So you are saying that it is your more tactful, sensible approach that calm tension, that brought the situation under control. Of course, your junior officer, Mr. Sifri, had not employed the same tact, isn't it? I wouldn't say he did not employ uh, the same tactics. Um, situation solving, uh, sometimes people have their own ways of doing it. Maybe... Hold on, before you come, but the service has their procedures. Yes, my lord. Yes. Yes, my lord. You can't say that you do things your own way. I'm saying that the sort of things that you described you did. Mr. C V have not done those things before you went. My lord, that that that, that is so. Now the soldiers who came with the divisional commander and later on the division commander. Um, did they come to assist or when they came you had already used your tact and more sense were which to calm the situation? My lord, they came to assist. Before the situation But when they came, the situation had de escalated. So what did they assist you on? Uh, because the people were there in their numbers. And uh, you can't get all of them to calm down at the same time. So there were pockets of agitations. So the presence of the police deterred them from doing anything on truth. The presence of the military deterred them from doing anything on truth, my lord. So on her side, you believe that the idea of putting a more junior person work in your jurisdiction was probably tactically wrong. Yes. My lord, I cannot say that. So when you said, when you went there, was this officer and indeed is your junior, didn't you say that? My lord, it was uh, a response to a question posed by my, my lord. Have you ever, you yourself, also been in a situation where you are junior but you are commanding a senior Person to you. Have you experienced it in the service before? Experience. A situation where somebody who is senior to you is nominally under you. Have you experienced it? No, my lord. Who is your district crime officer? My district crime officer is my mate, my lord. Mention the, the name, please. DSP Abraham Benewa. You met her at the district? Yes, my lord. She is your mate? Yes, my lord. But on the staff list, she is near to you? On the staff list? She is near to you. Any time two policemen are working, one is senior, isn't it? Yes, my lord. So, are you confirming or denying that she is near to you? My lord, because he's my mate, I'm finding difficult to I'm finding difficult to get what we are talking about. Are you saying that you don't know the reasons set out in the instructions and in law for determining that between any two police officers, whether junior or senior, one is senior? Yes, my lord. You don't know? I don't. Is he your senior or not? It's a difficult question, my lord. Uh, but uh, let me say she's my senior, if, de depending upon where you are coming from. You were sent to the... No, not where I'm coming from. Where, where the police law is coming from. Where the police procedure is coming from. It's not my personal decision or your personal decision. And you went there to meet her, isn't it? Yes, my lord. Did you protest, young commander, or to the IGP, where they had sent you to be a commander of the whole district? When your senior was a crime officer? My lord, uh, I have a difficulty here. I did not protest that 
the one that was brought there to man the situation is my junior. Is that the, it's, it's, no, I did not protest. No, no, you it's, mentioned it's it. my lord. No, it's my lord that asked that the two of us, who is senior? What did you say? And I said, uh, I'm senior. He's was uh, 44, and I'm of course 43. And didn't Madame it was because she asked hold the on, two of us who is senior. Hold on. Didn't Madame Soskandi ask whether so your junior was brought to do the work in your, didn't she say something like that? Yes, my lord. And you said yes. Yes, my lord. Yes, and in the same scenario, I'm saying that you were asked to go and be the commander in chief of East Lebanon district when your senior was already there. In, in, I mean, you know that in some instances they would have made it a district commander and then maybe you the district crime officer, isn't it? Yes, my lord. So did you protest or did you kindly remind the headquarters that, oh, this is my mate, but she's senior on the staff list, so I don't think it's quite right. I, I, I don't see why there should be a protest. I don't see why I should, I should protest because I have never protested anywhere before. But you want to protest yourself free for being left out? Oh. I did that. I did that. Just because the by election is taking place in my jurisdiction. So if I'm left out, one day I may be asked to ask a question, to answer a question, my lord. And they will, here they, I am. they will ask the person who left you up, not you. We will have to ask the person who left you up, not you, as to why they left you up. We cannot ask you why they left you out. Now, the entries in the stationery. You said uh, informed that some suspects have been brought there. Yes, my lord. And you went and you saw those seven people. Yes, my lord. Were they from the place where you cooled down the tempest, or this is from a different area? My lord, according to them, they were arrested at the place I went to cool down the tempest. At the time you went, had they already been arrested? Yes, my lord. So, did you see them being sent? We. No, my lord. I didn't meet them there. I only came to meet them in custody. Okay, so when you went, some arrests had already taken place. Yes, my lord. And some people had been sent away. Yes, my lord. And when you came back, you found this group who had been arrested where you went to. Yes, my lord. And um, you saw from the entries that uh, DSP Azugu said, what did you say he said? He said there was an entry that DSP as a good brother. Um, yeah, yes, my lord. What, did, what is the entry there? Uh, my lord, I read. DSP Mr. Samuel Azu of National Security in charge brought in seven suspects with a report that the suspects were met at the Baoleshi school polling station and they asked them to leave their place and when they asked them to leave their place no my lord i'll take it again okay dsp mr azuku samuel azuku of um, national security in charge men brought in seven suspects for the report that the suspects were met at the violation school polling station and attacked the patrol team from national security when they were asked to leave the place, hence they are arrest to the station. And did you read this entry before you started to interview the seven people? Yes, my lord. Read entry. Yes, yes, my lord. And after that, you left to go and vote. Yes, my lord. You said they were injured, even though according to your estimation, not you know, not all of them, my lord. Some were injured. I'm going to estimation of a man and Yes, my lord. Are you a doctor? My lord, I'm not a doctor. Um, if um, something, if somebody has sustained a cut, at least you you can describe the depth of the of the injury. 
but you can't do it in the same fashion as uh, a medical doctor can do. That's why we give them medical forms to go to hospital. The one with the blood on the shirt or singlet. Is it the shirt or singlet? Um, I would say it's a white. The one you show to cancer. Yeah, yeah, it's a white singlet. Did you ask him why there was blood all over him? According to him, the, the arresting officers beat him. And, and so if he's been beaten, and you say the standard procedure is that they should be issued medical forms to go to the hospital. Yes, my lord. Did you direct that that should be done when you were there before you left to go and vote? My lord, um, the, the, the station officer was there. And I wanted to do that, but because National Security said they were coming for him, then I said, then let me quickly dash down and come. So, if at the time you went to vote and left them there, and before national security came, if any of them had died, what would have happened? And you have been asked questions, as you said, later on you have been asked questions. What would you have said? That you didn't let them go to hospital because national security was coming for them. But my lord, I, 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 it, the, the injury I saw, uh, my lord, when we go to scene of crime or when a report is made of an assault or uh, causing harm. We, we describe it in the in the in, in the dockets, and uh, the, the the kind of injury and the depth you 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 describe you 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 record it for investigation purposes. And uh, upon what I saw, it wasn't something that can kill. Do you agree with me that it is standard police procedure that when people are brought to any station and they appear to have been involved in a fight, been assaulted, whatever it is, they are injured, the first thing is to give them forms to go to the hospital. Is that not the standard procedure? My Lord, uh, I will not say that in totality. In a please, sense please, that please give me a simple question. Is this standard police procedure in Ghana and elsewhere in the world that when injured persons are brought to a station, they are given forms to go to hospital? Yes or no? My Lord, you, you do that depending upon the, uh, the, 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 the seriousness of the injury. Hold on, hold on. Let's but all injuries are not the same, my lord. He said, depending on the seriousness of the injury. Of the injury. Because all injuries are not the same. Yes, my lord. So you are now telling this commission and to the people of Ghana watching you that the police always have a duty to determine the extent of the injuries before they issue medical forms. Is that a new law? No. My lord, what I'm trying to say is that for the medical form, since the person even a mere slap, if the person complains that I have been slapped without any seeing any physical injury, you have to give the person medical form. And this one, you but, saw blood, <laughs> didn't you? Yes, I saw blood. And you saw a cut. Yes, my you lord. By your estimation, it wasn't a deep cut. cut. Yes, my and lord. I'm saying, are you saying that you only keep medical forms when the injury, by your estimation, or any other police officer at any station, you have to calculate that is the disc cut, so take forms and go to the hospital. This is a minor cut, so stay in the cells because national security is coming for you. Is that the law procedure, the police law and police procedure? Police law and standard procedure that um, they should be kept in custody. Is that a question, my lord? No. Is it the procedure that when people are injured and they are brought to your custody, they are supposed to be treated? with medical forms to go to the hospital. It's a standard procedure, my lord. Did you do it in this case? My lord, in this case, uh, it is it is it is the CID's responsibility to issue the medical form at the counter. So you I, are, I, hold I, on, I hold on. Yes, you are the commander. Did you direct this? The, everybody there is under you, isn't it? Yes, my lord. The uniformed and the CID personnel, isn't it? Yes, my Including lord. your mate who is your senior. So long as she's working at 
is the Guam District Police Commander. She's under you, isn't it? Yes, my lord. So, and that is why you went, you remember somebody asked you why you were interviewing them, that standard procedure. You said yes. The station is under you, isn't it? Yes. And I agree with you, you have to find out why they mean brought there. So don't say that it is a CID corporal or sergeant under you. Doesn't give the medical forms. What will you do? My Lord, in this particular instance, I, I will say that because the operation was done by the regional level or handled at the regional level, anything that you do, you have to seek clearance from, from, from the top. So that's why I said I informed the regional commander about it. About? About what has happened, that the people that have been brought there did you tell them somewhere in jail? I told them I told them somewhere having blast in India. In India. And did you tell him that you had admitted the injuries were not serious, so you are not going to issue them medical? My lord, I did not say that. Did he specifically tell you that don't let them go to the hospital because national security is coming for them? Did he tell you that the regional commander? My lord, he never mentioned anything about them being sent to the hospital. Did you report to the regional operations of Chiefs of Trinity for it that some people have been brought to your station? It was the regional commander informed, my lord. Why? Why didn't you go through Chiefs of Trinity for it? You said he was in charge of the whole regional operations. Uh, my lord, I did not specifically say that he is in charge. It was handled by the regional uh, uh, commander and so what was, what was Chief Sotenero for his role in the whole business of that day? What was his role? My Lord, what I can say is that he was the one in charge the operational team. And that why didn't you inform him that some people have been brought here and expect that he would tell the regional commander, but you went direct to the regional commander by phone, isn't it? Yes, my Lord. Did you inform your divisional commander? Under which division are you, East Lebanon? Airport division, my lord. Did you inform the divisional commander that some injured persons have been brought to you? Yes, my lord. And what did he say? The, the, the divisional commander? Yes. He, he also saw them, my lord. No, no, he did come to the station. Yes, my lord. He, he is at East Lebanon with us. At the time that you went there, he was there? Yes, my lord. And both? both at the time I, I went where? To East Lebanon and saw the injured person. Yeah. At the charge of this. Yes. He wasn't there with me, my lord. At the time that you left, you are not sure whether he had seen them. But he, he, he told me I, I spoke to him. When you went there? I spoke to him. Did you tell him that the people were injured? He... Did he not come under? Did you tell him that the people were injured? Specifically, I did not say the people were injured. Why? Uh, uh, I just told him, I just told him that pe uh, uh, seven people have been arrested mm -hmm. and brought there. Mm -hmm. But for the injury, I didn't talk about Did you it. tell me about the condition of the seven people? The, the condition of the seven people? You just said seven people have been arrested. Have been arrested. And brought here. And brought, and brought there by the, by that, the, by the security team. But you said later on he saw them. He saw them, my lord. At that time you were left or you were there? I wasn't there. How do you know he saw them? I, 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 he told me. I went to him. Did he order that? Was he the one who ordered that they should be sent to hospital? Yes, my lord. The, the, the regional yes, commander. The regional commander. Are there entries to that effect? There's no entry. They didn't make any entry to So he just gave oral directives and they are not entered? No, my lord. Is there any entry there about any officer, station officer, station CID, divisional commander, direct, those should be sent to the hospital? Is there any entry there? No, my lord. Are you sure? Yes, my lord. So how were they sent to the hospital? Uh, according to the crime officer, uh, she gave the medical form to go to the hospital. Which crime officer? Uh, uh, the SPR. Oh, the, the, uh, you mean the uh, officer? Yes. She gave the medical, medical form. form to go to the hospital. What time? Uh, my lord, that would be um, 10, 11. Were you 10. there at the time? Uh, that time, I, I was not there. But she later told you that she 
she gave them or she directed that they should give him from the medical to go to According, the according to her, she directed the inspector, inspector Philly, mm -hmm. to do that, to give the medical form to go to hospital. Do you think what she did was wrong before so were not so severe? Do you think what she did was wrong? No, I wouldn't say it was wrong. It wasn't wrong. It wasn't wrong. Would you say that what you didn't do was a tactical mistake? My Lord, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't admit that. Did you not allow them or order that they should be sent to the hospital for other considerations? Were there any other reasons why you didn't let them be sent to the hospital? My Lord, uh, my reasons have given them over and over again that uh, uh, I took the chance to go no, and no, 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 and before, no, 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 before you went to vote, mm. you say you didn't ask that they should be sent to the hospital. And you say that for you, the injuries were not serious. And I'm saying that apart from that reason, is there any other reason why you didn't order that they should no, no, there's no any other reason. And so if so, well, someone had died or something, you, in your estimation, you are not a medical survivor, it's not serious, but you've been told that some were even beaten. As when they were bleeding internally, how would you know? I, don't, I wouldn't know, sir. How would you know the extent of the bleeding that had occurred with the man that you saw with his shirt or singlet in blood? My Lord, the question again. The man that you saw with blood on his shirt or singlet, singlet. how would you know the extent of the bleeding? When, when, when I went there, he wasn't bleeding. But I saw the blood stains here. Yeah. Yeah. You see, I'm yeah. not worrying you or asking me as a, an individual. I'm doing this as a Ghanaian for all of us. There are too many complaints from Ghanaians that when you go to a police station, some people are quickly given for just who are not. And they are claimed that sometimes you have to pay money before. They will tell you they are not Have you heard those complaints before? This is a very serious day. Something has happened. You went there, the situation was bad, but thanks to your tact and your sensible approach, the situation has been brought under control. People have been injured, and you're not afraid that something will happen to them. You don't order that they should go to the hospital. My, my Lord, I needed to get uh, a clearance from the authorities. Because from which authority? That from either divisional commander or the, the or regional commander. Because before you sent them to hospital. No, what I'm saying is that. I what was I saw, hold on. What I was I going saw, to end, but you are bringing in other elements. You are saying that unless you get permission from your regional commander or your regional commander, you have no authority as the district commander. To order that injured persons should be sent to a hospital. I I I think I've made that point, my lord. That what what I saw in my imagination, it wasn't something that needed immediate attention like that. And I asked, did the divisional commander see them? And you said yes. Now, as did he order that they should be sent to the hospital? And you said no. Yes. Uh, when I think. I Corrected that one. Uh -huh. That I spoke to the I went to, to his office, and then he told me um, when the the NDC. I think I, I'm bringing this new one. Mm -hmm. When the, some of the authorities, other authorities, uh, led by Mr. Collins Dauda, when the and, NDC, when the NDC officials, yes, officials, yes. put it that way, um, they came to his office, and then he instructed. The, the, the crime officer to do that. To send them to hospital? To, yes, to send to give the medical form to, to go so to hospital. So if you are saying that the divisional commander, if civilians have not come to complain that maybe some of their people have been arrested, they are sick, he would not have approved that if you go to hospital? My, my Lord, it will be difficult to answer for him. Then why are you saying that he said that when the NDC people came, then he gave instructions. You are linking the arrival of the NDC officials to this decision to let them go to hospital. 
So when the audit officials came, then the injuries were no more serious. Uh, were more serious. The injuries which you had determined were not serious. They became serious when the NDC officials came. My, my Lord, that's not what Who has the regional commander reason for? So the divisional commander is reason for allowing them to go to hospital for an injury that was not that serious. Simply because some NDC officials came. So he was taking my, instructions. My, my Lord, was he taking instructions? Mean, my Lord. Okay. That's not what I mean, my Lord. Oh, okay. Sorry, I misread you. So, on hand side, do you think that next time, if something else happens, you have to do the standard thing? Forget about whether the injury is serious or not serious. You let them go and let the doctor determine that the injury is serious. Especially since, as you see, some have been beaten. And maybe there were no signs of the beating physically, but maybe they have been hit in the smoke or something. So let's just try and do what the law and the procedure says without as acting as doctors to determine whether somebody should be given forms or not. Yes. Thank you. Just one or two questions. Your evidence is that you were not made part of the election task force, right? Yes, my lord. However, the regional commander called you to yes, tell sir. you that there had been shooting and uh, you should go to the scene and do some investigation. Yes, my lord. So you went to the scene. Yes, my lord. Now, you say that um, you, took, you took videos of um, of the scene. Of the scene. Yes, my lord. As well as gunshots, uh, bullets. Yes, in the, in the container. container. How many uh, gunshots did you did you see? Uh, my lord, I think about they are here about four or five, if I'm not mistaken. I took video. I videoed the scene, my lord. Four or five where? To where in the, in the container. Uh, container. Yes, my lord. That's, that was the only place where there were there was evidence of gunshot wounds. Yes, my lord. But the, the other evidence I caught was that uh, some of them were holding empty shells. Plenty empty shells. Who? Uh, some of the the, the boys that were had received the place. They were holding empty shells. So I told them to take all that to the police station. I they, 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 they shouldn't have done that. It should be there. They will come and then pick them as uh, as evidence for evidential purposes. But they had already collected them in their hands at the, at the, at the scene. When you say they, who you do you mean? The, the people we met at the, at the scene. Yeah. How many empty shells were they holding? There were, there were many, my lord. Many? If I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. they were holding them. If I'm not mistaken, it would be over 20 per what I saw. Okay. And were you able to find out the source of these empty shells who had, you know, fired <laughs> these uh, gunshots, the empty shells that you saw, were you able to determine um, who had fired these gunshots? My Did Lord, you investigate to find out? Yes, I, I inquired. Mm -hmm. but, the, but the information they gave me was that uh, they were fired by the, the, the task force team that came there. Because I didn't meet them at the scene, the task force. When I went there, the only police I saw was my colleague, uh, BSP, and his men. And the, the operational men that came to fire the, the shots, the shots, I didn't meet them there. But I saw the empty shells in the palms of some of the people that were there, that they were shot by the task force people. That's what they told you. That was what they told me. Did you take a statement from them? 
we, I asked them to come to the police. They said they won't come. They said they, they won't come. We don't throw, you know, in such situation, so many things happen. Uh, won't come. Police, we don't trust him and stuff. But it's, they, they made such comments. Okay. They made such comments. Now the empty shells, did you take them from They didn't them? give them to me. You demanded them? I demanded them. They didn't give. So I just told them, the situation as it was, if you make any attempt to do something that would infuriate them, you would rather escalate matters. You would rather escalate matters. So you rather not to further deepen what has already happened. You have to treat them softly. And basically that was what I did. Or if you don't yeah. give, if you don't listen to them, everybody is talking. As you if as this one is engaging you, and that person is also talking from all angles. So it's not easy. You have to listen to this person, listen to this person. The person is holding the pen. Bring it. Okay. He won't bring it. You can't even force him. If you do that, you will end up being attacked. Okay, did you do any investigation about this shooting that took place? You yourself, did you do any investigation about the shooting? Apart the, from the question which you asked these people who were holding the empty shelves, did you do any other investigation to, to get some facts about the shooting that had occurred? Um, it was about the same thing that all of them were saying, that they, 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 they were fired by the, the team that came there, the task force team. And uh, as you who shot, who fired the, those shots, I, I, I didn't get it. But according to them, it, uh, they were fired by the task force team. And were you able to find out exactly the circumstances under which these shots were fired? Did you get any information about what transpired, whether there was a dispute, there was an argument as a result of which these shots were fired. Did you do any such investigation? Yes, yes, yes my lord. What, what exactly did you find out? Uh, my lord, uh, the information I got at from, the scene. From? From the people at the scene. Yeah. The whole thing took place at the frontage of the NDC parliamentary candidate's house. Mm -hmm. That's opposite the gate, the main gate to, to the house. That's where it happened. So people were there in their numbers. And according to them, uh, as earlier on said, that they were brought there, uh, no, sorry, uh, they were there, uh, and then uh, the security men approached them. 